This is an LED wall. Now take a closer look. Even closer, each panel on this wall is built up of individual pixels. But how do we know how far apart these pixels should be? And what happens if the pixels are too far apart? Today, we're talking about pixel pitch. All right, let's get technical. Let's talk pixel pitch. Nice pixel pitch is the distance in millimeters between the center of one pixel on an LED panel to another. The smaller the pixel pitch, the closer you can bring your camera to the screen without catching moray. Now moray is caused by your camera picking up the dark patches between each pixel instead of the bright hues the pixels let off. That's when you get all those little lines and aliasing in your footage. The closer your camera is to the screen, the more likely it will be to pick up moray. So why don't we just make an LED panel with the minimum pixel pitch possible? I'll give you three reasons. First off, that would be expensive, especially per panel. Now, imagine all of the panels in an LED volume. That would cost a lot of money. What happened to all that money? Secondly, that would take a lot of power. You can't just plug an LED volume into your typical outlet. You need dedicated power distribution and multiplying the amount of pixels on your wall also multiplies the amount of power you're gonna need to power those pixels. A different type of required power is processing power. The more pixels you have, the more your computers are gonna have to process your made environments. It'll also up your screen resolution, which actually could be a bad thing. We think of 1920 by 1080 as like something that's like this big, right? but it's not, it's huge, it's massive. True 4K is humongous. Bashing pixels together super close is just unnecessary. So unless you have access to your own power grid, it's not gonna happen. Lastly, it might not be necessary. If you're gonna be doing a super tight macro close-up of something that's on an LED wall, you might as well just shoot that practically. Or if you really need, get a CG artist to make that for you. Okay, enough science for one day. Let's go look at some LEDs. Are you getting that? You're, you're on that? Look at that. Check that one out. It's up here? You gotta see this. You gotta see this. Come here, look at this. Do you see this? Look at that. That's amazing. So how does this apply to you? Well, if you're building an LED volume pretty directly, but odds are you're not. Oh, I can hear the hate comments already. Um, actually I'm in the process of building my own LED volume. But if you ever find yourself shooting on an LED volume or on any form of LED of any kind, you need to keep this principle in mind. In the most basic sense, if you're shooting and you're picking up more from the screen, just take a step back, just scoot the boot a little bit and you should be good to go. Again, with the popularization of LED virtual production, you gotta know this stuff. Even a basic knowledge of pixel pitch will put you a little bit further ahead than everyone else. That's it for this week. I'm Josh, you're watching Copilot, and I'll see you in the next one.